based off of that article that I sent out to y'all, it was it, it talked about if I was a poor black kid. Um, it, 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 it speaks to the premise that black youth and, and the black community are not doing those things which are essential to make them successful within society. As a journalist, what did you think about that particular piece? Of it? I thought it was interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I felt it was, how do you get this perception that black kids don't want to learn? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just so easy to say these things about black kids. And right. those aren't the black students that I know that go to the schools in my communities that have parents that support and push them. And I mean, and I just, I also don't agree because you're not looking at the educational factors, the government factors, the institutions that are in place that are not serving the communities they're supposed to serve. It's all the black kids' fault. Okay. Well, someone said that there is an education that is going on within our community, and that's an education to convict you to become an institutionalized person mm -hmm. for the rest of your life. So with the lack of the, the, the intellectual education, there's another education in which it buys it or ties into that, that particular prison economy or whatever that's going on in our community. And I think that the gentleman, maybe with his, maybe he had positive intentions, was a, a white businessman that mm -hmm. was writing this particular article for Forbes magazine, so most of us don't read that. Mm -hmm. So he's not speaking to our particular audience, he's speaking to another audience. And, and, and again, just like um, uh, uh, Patrick Moynihan, with the Moynihan Report, trying to talk about the issues of poverty and things within our community. But of course, if you're not from that community, you're looking on the outside, looking in, and you don't really have the full understanding. Just like when Moynihan talked about, well, maybe we need to have black males become um, mailmen and give them these uniforms with shiny buttons on it, and that would garner respect and you know for them and their community and things of that nature. I mean, good intentions, um, but wrong perspective. I think the article was written from a statistical standpoint. Mm. Um, you know, he looked at some statistics, and so he, that's what he came up with. But in actuality, you know, I have a lot of friends and family who are in this the school district, and I mean, it really comes down to because these these kids, their test scores are are very low. Some of it has to do with resources, but a lot of it has to do with their, their environment, th their parents, and you know, a lot of times these teachers are being blamed for these for the test scores of these kids. But then you have to look at it. You know, the teachers are with them from nine to three. What about you know the times that they're not with them after school the parents have a responsibility you know also in this and some of it has to do with that but then the other factor is well sometimes parents are working two and three jobs you know to maintain so these kids are here and that's when it comes to having community programs Talk for kids about and, and accountability like to politicians right. what about accountability to elected officials mm -hmm. you know if our schools aren't working on a local level what are our elected officials doing about that? Right. A lot of people in the school system complain that, you know, you have a, a large body of students that have different issues milling with the general population of students and that affects the kind of education that, the, that all the children get. Why aren't there places, structures in place, institutions in place to help meet those special needs of those children so that everyone can get the education they need? Um, you know, we, one of the sisters, we had a debate over the issue of uh, the whole uh, movie, but we were looking for Superman. Mm. And, you know, she said, no, I wasn't open-minded to uh, the ideas that they're, they're trying to get out there. And what I said I'm not open to is the monetization of our youth, of our children. We have people, again, that, that come into our communities and they don't necessarily look like me and you that open up these schools and it is an economic incentive to do so and then they're paying other people outside of our communities edu educate our kids and they don't teach them anything that is historical or spiritually even connected to our culture and so I have a problem with that and, and I don't want people to look at if, if, I don't have any kids but I don't want people to look at my nieces and nephews and, 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 and see a dollar sign and then, and then mask that behind the idea of saying I'm doing something good for the community.